I'm following up on two stories that I recently reported. First, it's official, America's putting sanctions on a major Russian oil company for conducting business in Venezuela. And second, it looks like US sanctions have ended the construction of a major gas pipeline connecting Germany directly to Russia. Man, not a great week to be a Russian energy oligarch. So let's start with the update to a story I reported on February 8th. Should America impose Venezuelan sanctions on Russia's Rosneft? We now have an answer to that question and it's a resounding yes. The United States on Tuesday imposed tough sanctions against a Russian oil giant that's keeping Venezuela's ruling government afloat. In a gamble that could royal oil prices. Huh, try saying that three times fast. This is the geopolitical equivalent of an out of control chain email. We sanctioned Venezuela and Russia violated those sanctions by continuing to buy Venezuelan oil. So now we have to sanction Russia's main oil company by saying that countries have 90 days to stop buying from them as well, or else we'll sanction those oil companies too. Forward this threat to five of your friends or we're going to sanction your oil companies last. Going back to the source though, this is particularly alarming for Venezuela, because their exports are about as diverse as a small liberal arts college. 90% oil exports, no wonder we want to give you guys a democracy so badly. Rosneft currently sells about two thirds of Venezuela's oil, largely to Asia, and often by obscuring the cargo source and destination. Here China was thinking that they were buying ethically sourced local Russian oil, when in fact it was a Venezuelan sanction busting oil. The idea behind this was essentially a money laundering scheme, except with oil instead. They're chartering vessels owned by third parties and obscuring the origin of the crude as they market it around the world. Let's just dump this Venezuelan oil into a batch from Siberia. Stir it up a little bit and now, what Venezuelan oil? This? It's an international blend. You can legally buy it from us. Now that America's putting the kibosh on this operation, we're taking a sledgehammer to, conservatively speaking, about 60% of Venezuela's exports. Definitively answering the question, is there a possible way to get the Venezuelan economy to be even worse? With this move, it seems like America is 100% behind regime change by means of burning the country down and then hoping that the next guy who comes to power loves us. Let's just hope this works better than my old strategy of throwing sand at my crush to make her like me. Now to the other story I promised you an update on. On January 8th, I made a video about how Russia was building a new pipeline connecting them directly with Germany. At the time of reporting, everybody, including me, was incredibly pessimistic about the prospects of this succeeding. All the paperwork was filed and construction had begun. But that's the thing about Donald Trump. I swear that guy wakes up every morning and watches that scene from Miracle on Ice. If we declared economic warfare on them 10 times, they'd win 9 of those times. But not this time. So what happened? Well, I'm not going to call it checkmate quite yet, but Russia, you're going to want to move your king. While Russia has all of the permits and legal approval to lay the pipeline, they're lacking one huge part of the equation. According to United States Energy Secretary Dan Brulette, it's going to be a very long delay, because Russia doesn't have the technology. If they develop it, we'll see what they're going to do. But I don't think it's as easy as saying, well, we're almost there, we're just going to finish it. The problem again is, Russia has all the permits in place to commit this construction process, but they were relying on a Swiss company with the technology and know-how to actually lay massive underwater pipes. Problem is, while Russia knows bureaucracy and how to get the paperwork done, America knows capitalism. And as soon as the sanctions were announced, well, construction was dead in the water. It has recently been announced that Russia is deploying a pipe laying ship from just north of China to finish the construction themselves. 
While Gazprom has said it's looking into the options as to how to complete the pipeline, it hasn't given any details on where it will find the ship to do the work though. So hey Russia, can you do the world a favor and please, please don't half ass this major pipeline. I don't want another deep water horizon just because you guys decided to skip the intro class and go straight to pipe land 300. I'll keep everybody updated as we learn how or even if they decide to lay this pipe. So those are the updates to some of the recent stories I covered. I can't wait to see what happens as these stories continue to unfold. For more context behind these updates, click here to learn about United States sanctions on Rosneft in Venezuela and here to learn more about Russia's pipeline politics. I realize I'm a bit biased, but I personally think the pipeline video is really interesting if you haven't seen it yet. Remember to like, subscribe, and all those other really important YouTube things. But most importantly, thank you for watching.